So we heard from the story about how the hand came down and did some writing on the wall. So I thought it would be quite good to have a go at doing some of our own secret writing. So on our website, you will find this, the heavenly hand. If you can print it off, that would be great. If you can't, don't worry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do some secret writing with what we've got at home. So as you can see, I've got another piece of paper underneath, plain piece of paper. So I'm going to put that just there and I'm going to mark quickly where about the border is, that the wall is on my sheet that I've printed off from the website. This is to make it a bit easier and you'll see why in a minute. So on the sheet underneath, I'm going to write my secret message. So I'm going to... Okay, and that's just going to give me an idea of what to write. Now, I'll put that over there and it will show through on my wall because I used a black pen. Now, ideally, a white wax crayon is really good for this. In actual fact, any wax crayon, but white to do the writing. Um, but if you don't have a wax crayon, you can use a candle. So you can use a tea light because often there's tea lights at home, um, candles the shapes and sizes. Now I've got a small candle here which I had from another craft that I was doing. So I'm going to go over my writing with my candle because I don't have a white wax crayon but if you're using a candle I have noticed that you probably have to put more effort into going over your writing than you possibly would if you have a wax crayon. So if you have wax crayons, then use the white wax crayon because that would be a lot easier. If you don't, like me, have wax crayons to hand and you've got access to a candle, that's just as good. But you'll just need to put a lot of effort and a lot of rubbing into your wording because... And shaking off that bit. Right. So I've put a lot of effort with my candle into my secret message. Now, if you have different coloured wax crayons, you can rub over the top of the writing with your um, coloured wax crayons and that would be ideal. However, what could be good is watercolours. So if you have the little tablet paints, they're watercolours, and you use them to go over your writing, that's ideal. But I don't have those. I've got some ready-made paint here because we use a lot of that at work. So And some water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and water down my paint with my paintbrush to make it really watery to help with this. Now... I'm going to take my paint and then just go over the top of my message. As you can see, it's starting to come through. And there we go. It says, God loves you. So, brilliant way to write secret messages. You can write secret messages to your brothers or sisters. You could write a secret message to your mom and you can have some fun writing secret messages. If you cannot print this off but you have access to plain paper, you can do exactly the same with just plain paper. And you could write lots of secret messages to your family and friends. Um, you know, put them through a letterbox to a friend if you live near one of your friends and they could paint over it and see what your secret message says. Goodbye.